welcome back. Now, if you want to redecorate in 2024, our queen of interiors, Kelly Hoppen, is here to solve more of your design dilemmas. Good morning. Hello. Good to Kelly. see you. Happy New Year. Now, you've got to tell us, what is the must-have of the season it's right now? It's called the frog. The frog? I mean, these have been put in really high, but they're, they're really easy because you just fill them with water and you can put them down the centre of a table and put, little and put little flowers oh, in. that's nice. This is a bit high, but... You know, what do you, you mean it's a bit it. high? Well, you Tall. need to cut it, you know, so it's lower. Oh, you want it smaller? Smaller. But okay. they're, they're everywhere at the moment. Like, you know, you had the pineapple one year and everything. Oh, this yeah, seems yeah, the yeah. frog. And why it's called the frog, I don't know. Oh, I but like it. I it's like kind it. of quite cool. It's kind of Japanesey. Yeah. So and if what, you, you just put that in the middle of the table? You put it in it? the middle of the table or at a dressing oh. table or if you've got a niche and you want something high. Nice. It's done. Well, Kelly, thanks for joining us. We oh, always love your insight. Absolute pleasure. It's always nice to peek into people's homes. I know, I love that. Uh, Nina's up first. Hiya, Nina. Morning, Nina. Good morning. Hi, how Hello. are you? I'm very well, thank you. Are you? Yeah, I'm good, good. Thanks, Nina. So, Nina, uh, explain what sort of advice you'd like. I mean, you look like you've got a beautiful home there, so explain what advice you'd like from Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, we've got this really nice hallway that's got loads of kind of period features that's been put into it, but oh, wow. it's just really dark um, to the point where it's really quite uninviting I suppose it's quite depressing particularly on we've got quite a nice day today but if it's raining or anything outside it's just yeah. a really dark area of the house I mean it's so really any hints or tips would be great yeah I mean look it's amazing and I love it and you know I'm sort of going to tell you to do something that's sort of not what you probably would do but I don't think you should touch the paneling because it it matches all the beams the Gorgeous, doors so you keep all of that but what I would do is sand the floor down and put like a, a, a runner down it, like a carpet in a lighter colour, which I've put on the board and I'll put on my Instagram. But what I would do is paint the brick wall white, which okay. I know you wouldn't think of doing, but that will brighten oh. it. And but by taking away the orange that you've got on the, on the hall floor, which is completely the wrong colour for the beautiful panelling and all the beams that you've got, everything will look lighter. It will look so much better. And the runner is really important down the carpet runner. So you're saying that wall on the left? This there, wall on the left... Well, you paint that white? You would paint that white. And I've done some boards that are going to... Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place. No, I should be looking here. No I'm so be. sorry. Um, so, yes, so you would paint the wall that, where the brickwork is because that will just bounce off the white wow. walls that she's got. The panelling and all of the beams keep that because that wall is interlinked. Well, the character, isn't it? Right? But then the floor is very, very yellow and orange and that's throwing it. So you could sand that down, yeah. take away the gloss, have a matte varnish on it and do, like, a long-runner carpet in either a stripe or a colour or cream or whatever, suddenly it would look way, way brighter. And when yeah. it leads into the rest of the, of the house, which is kind of white with the wood, it will link in and it will feel so much brighter, I promise you. What about some mirrors? Would they help? Uh, not really. You're talking about get a bit of light in there. Kelly. No, but that, that won't. For a hallway, because there's no light, what you've got to do is bounce the light off. Yeah, so you okay. need to do that and the lighting. A mirror would just be good to look Nina, at. Don't, don't do you not you... listen to me <laughs> at all. I love that you're, right. you're getting involved. I love getting involved. <laughs> so that happens in. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Does that help, Nina? Yeah, no, it definitely does. I've kind of. Never been sure whether it's the floor or the panelling or something else I can do, and I'm trying to death with touching something yeah. and it kind of being irreversible. So um, a new perspective has been really helpful. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks, Nina. All right. Bye. Good luck Thank with you. it. You need to send us some Love photos it, when it's all done. That'd yeah, nice. definitely. Uh, who's really? up next? Uh, Julie in Merseyside. Hi, Julie. Hi. Hey, there you are. Hi, Julie. How's it going? So, uh, Julie, oh, it's, about, it's about your living room, isn't it? What would you like to ask her? It is. Um, Trust is lucky me that I've followed Nina in a beautiful house and I'm here in a box. So <laughs> Don't <plastic>. worry. <laughs> it's all your own um, space, I isn't it? Love, I love the cream because I'm, 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 I'm used to big, bold colours. Um, now I've had my lounge done. I want to mute it down and just have creams, but finding the right cream because I want to do the ceiling, the walls, the skirting, the doors, everything, the same cream and just accent either end of the... Living room, if that's what you think is the best idea, Kelly. So, hi there. So, you sent, a, sent me a sort of tear sheet of what you wanted it to look like, and your television is so huge, it's one wall. 
if That's you not bad. no, but <laughs> the other wall where you've got the the chimney breast, I would paint yeah. that black as well. And if it yes. was me, I would kind of run the black line up the ceiling and down. So you sort of create this kind oh, of nice. um, table, if you oh, like, yeah. above you. Yeah. Then I would do a lovely cream walls, exactly like you said, all of the skirting boards, everything, ceiling where you don't have this line. And then I put on, on Instagram like a really lovely round mirror, which is very similar to your mood board with a beautiful light with some uh, brass, because that was one of the things you wanted. And then yes. a cream sofa rather than what you suggested, which was more of a rust sofa. And then I've yeah. put in an occasional chair, which would be rust to bring in that colour. And then you can bring in those colours with cushions and, and fabrics and things like that, because it will, yes. otherwise it will make the room look smaller. If you don't right. want to do the, the line of black above the ceiling, because it's kind of scary, just do both ends so that they uh, are the same. And then you can put a mirror on one and you've got the telly on the other and it will look really nice. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. And Kelly, would you, I'm a bit worried about this after mirror gate, but would you box in the TV? Could you sort of do it and close the TV? Well, no, you wouldn't really need to, because the television is again. black. No. Okay, well, it's a good suggestion, you would, though. No, it's a good suggestion, but because it's like a, a chimney breast, yeah. you would just paint the wall behind black, so ah. it kind of gets lost on it. Then you do the other one at the back. Got it. It's a mirror image. How did you learn this, Thanks, Julie. I don't know. How, do, how do you just know this? Because I... I can't see what my house needs, and I think you need to just come to my house. I'm yeah. definitely coming. Oh, I, I think that is a roundabout way of <laughs> saying, will you come to my house? <laughs> no, obviously I'll pay me away and everything, but like, I just want you to come over. Mates rates, you know, We'll have such a laugh. But mate, yeah, but, but do charge you though. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sally in Essex, hey Sally. Yeah. Hi, Sally. Hi, hey, Sally. Oh, I like your bedroom. It's you lovely, love isn't it? it? Thank you. Um, been decorating it sort of bit by bit and yeah. I love the colour on the walls but I need to I need an idea for my awkward corner behind me um I don't like think I it's want awkward a cozy chair, a... I don't think it's awkward at all I think you've done the most amazing job everything is perfect with what you've done and I know you said I don't want to have a chair where I throw things on but you kind of do with a chair you in a bedroom it. yeah but in that corner I thought you could have a really beautiful kind of rounded chair maybe a mirror above, which is slightly oval, and then potentially some larger lamps. And I know you wanted behind your bed to have lots of pictures on a ledge. And I sort of found a really nice image of where you could overlap like glass um, picture frames that you can buy on the high street and do something lovely behind the bed. And maybe bring in, it seems that the wall color is a kind of pale pink. Um, so I've put in some cushions on, on the board on Instagram of pale pink and maybe bring in a bit of sage green. But you've done an amazing job. You just need to buy a few little more things and it's done. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure. So you're doing really well. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> what about a chest at the end of the bed? <laughs> no, you wouldn't have room. You'd fall over it. <laughs> God. <laughs> And that's the uh, reason. To be fair, that's <laughs> just wrong. No, that's that's just, no, Go on, just say something. So I just thought, sorry, sorry, Sally. It's a lovely <laughs> room, Sally. Don't listen to me. I've got no doubt. Sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling in. Thank you so much. Let's go to Heidi now in Staffordshire. Morning, Hi, morning, Heidi. Morning, Alison. Oh, morning, morning Kelly. Hello. Hello. What's your question for Kelly? Um, Kelly, I'm struggling on the colour of the room. Um, I can't. We're having a media wall put in, and I just can't decide on a colour. Right. Before, okay. It was cream. It was mainly cream. But you've got you've got a new fireplace coming in, which we will put up on the screen, which is really modern. So when you sort of said a media wall, did you mean lots of images of things and you know like no, like a media wall with the TV? I'm a, a, a oh. the TV and maybe yes. some units at yeah, the bottom. Oh, I was getting really sky. creative and putting Frank, snack, Frank Sinatra up and lots of black and white <laughs> right. photography. No, no, more like a media. So you've got your television and then you've got your ah, maybe a, a okay. little cabinet at the bottom that you can well, put Well, that your you sky can in. do easily. I would paint the walls, you know, a pale beige or a grey or a white even and do the whole wall of media with your TVs and stuff. I've put in a really cool sort of light above. 
maybe add in some green to bring some colour. And I put in like a really nice rug. So if you didn't want green, choose a colour that you liked. So you've got the sort of black, the white, and there's the rug, which has kind of got a bit of yellow and green. So you're bringing a pop of colour if your walls are pale. But always do the skirting boards, the architraves, the ceiling, everything all the same colour. Don't do one colour and make sure your door is the same colour as well. What do you think about yeah. that, that straight uh, vertical panelling on the wall as oh, well? I love what do you that. think about that wooden panelling? Yeah, yeah. I think that tongue looks quite... It's tongue and, I, tongue and groove. Tongue yeah. and groove. Oh, I, I use that? that all the time, but it makes it more country but it's lovely and it will make it warm, but you could do that from the floor up to here. Are you, why are you laughing? No, no, I'm just thinking, do you, you think that's I a good idea? No, I didn't, didn't think you? you'd like it. <laughs> no, but you could do it halfway up. Yes. And then the rest of it's painted and you could always do that in a slightly darker colour and then that feels kind of cosy. So yeah. it's a great idea. Oh, what, what about what a nice think? chandelier? I've put one in. Oh, Great idea. Bingo! <laughs> what do you think, Heidi? Do you think you'd go with some of those ideas? Yes, lovely. We also thought about Venetian plastering. I did, don't know whether you've had any of that, oh. um, Kelly. Um, I think it can be a bit, in a small room, it can be a bit over the top, but you could do maybe yeah. one wall, maybe your media wall, you could have a feature wall, then I'm OK with that, but I wouldn't do the whole thing. I think you'd get bored no. with it. Your wall. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Right, oh, pleasure, Heidi. Thanks for getting in touch with us as Thank well. You. Yeah. Bye. We send it. us Bye -bye. some. All of you, send us pictures <sighs> when it's done. So we can do see this before all and day. I love it. I love interior. He gives <laughs> terrible <laughs> suggestions to you, Kelly, all day Let's long. Let's go on a road terrible, trip. Though. They're we'll do a road trip. I'd love, love to do a road yeah. trip. Yeah, I'd love <laughs> Thanks, that. Thanks, Kelly. It's a Thank pleasure. You. Thank you so much. Still Thank to come, you. we have got...